Hello, mommy twins. Good evening. Good evening. Is that the twins back? Ah, no. Oh, wow. I know by God's grace he will come back soon. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Now that the twins have gone on excursion, I'll be the only one sleeping tonight. <laughs> Did I even say tonight? Maybe throughout the weekend. At least until they come back. Oh, mommy twins, don't be discouraged. Eh? I feel for you. <sighs> Have you tried to call him at all? Yes, I did, but the network is bad. I'll keep trying. Mommy Twins, I want you to know that God is answering our prayers. Whatever the case may be right now, just be still. Only He knows how He's going to do it. Please, be encouraged, eh? Please. Honestly, I don't know what else to do. You know, I told you I just got a new set of furniture in the house. I paid the children's school fees. I bought materials. I don't know. Honestly, I'm getting fed up about the whole issue. Don't be discouraged. Just, just calm down. Thank you. All right, my regards to your husband. Tell him I'm going to miss you people by the time you move to the staff quarters. Good night. All right, good night. It is well. Girlfriend? Ah, uh -uh, nothing like that. Uh -uh, what do you mean, girlfriend? Mm. You are the only girlfriend I have now. Right. The only girlfriend I have. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Hello. Hello. How are you? I've been trying your number since. In fact, I've been worried. Where are you now? You see, we are having a meeting. A very powerful meeting. You see, uh, it's a meeting between all the principals of secondary schools in our zone and the zona education officer. Ah. Uh, see, the, the meeting may last till late in the night. So that's why I can't come home tonight, okay? But I'll, I'll come home tomorrow. I'll come home tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thanks for calling. I appreciate your call. Love you. Good night. Your wife, I guess. Yes. What did she say? Uh, what do you expect her to say? The usual thing, of course. Uh, come home, don't come home, and all of that. Uh, don't mind her. Uh, I can't go home tonight because I have my tuba paper with me. <laughs> it is me and you tonight. Oh, don't mind her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't mind her. <laughs> Hello, Jumobi. Hello, Bumi. Surprise, surprise. Where last did I hear your voice? Sorry, I'm really sorry. But you two, you should have called me now. Look at you. Is it because you are married and I am not? It has always been me calling you all this while. Anyway, I'll be getting married soon. Yeah? Wow. <laughs> this is great news. Ah, ah, tell me something. Look, I'm going out for lunch. I have a date. 
A date. <laughs> what do you mean date? Details later. I have to go out now. I'll give you full gist. Huh. Okay, but please be careful and please pray. Eh? Well, I am praying seriously about it. Just be along, yeah? Alright, we'll be praying. It is well. Take care. Thank you very much. My greetings to you all. Alright. Take care of yourself. Later. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Thank you, ma. My guest, your family. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm surprised to see you at this time of the day. This is just past 12. Did you go to the office? Of course I went to the office. I only decided to come and explain to you why I didn't come home yesterday. As soon as I leave here, I'm going back to the office. Okay? okay. Thank you, dear. Please, come home tonight. I will. Are you sure? I said I will. Kebo! Kebo stick, kebo sticker. Kebo la 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 la. Kebo stick, kebo sticker. Kebo stick, pepe yo yo. So where are you now? Uh, wait for me there. I'm coming now. Kebo stick, super pa yo yo. That's not the kind of answer I'm expecting from you. Huh? I don't understand. I expect you to say you love me too. Mr. Emeka, I can't. I can't. Why? I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. So I am a child of the devil, eh? I'm not saying that. But you are not born again. Huh? And Bumi, you have concluded that I can never become born again. Eh? I can't do anything because of you. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to be born again now. Just like that? Yes! Because of you, I'll become born again. <laughs> it's alright. I need to pray about it. Uh. <sighs> okay. I'll 
give you time to pray. But I'll call you back in exactly one week. It's alright. Good. <laughs> Change this furniture. You. Ah. Uh, me. I didn't change the furniture. Who who bought this new furniture? No. I bought them for you. You did. Yeah. You bought the furniture for me. This furniture is expensive. Ah! Beautiful city. Ah! How much it is? Don't bother about the price. Tell me now. Tell me how much you bought it. You, you never can tell me. I can return the money. I can return the money. Don't worry. But just eat. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you're home tonight. You can imagine how I miss you whenever you are not around. Uh, thank you, thank you. You see me too. I did not want to attend that meeting. Uh, it was because I didn't want to put myself into some trouble. That's why I decided to attend the meeting. Anyway, I am at home now. Thanks for coming home. Uh, <laughs> uh, <coughs> let us pray. Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> By the way, where are the children? I have not seen them. Or have they gone to bed? No. They went on excursion. Excursion? Yes. Ah. Ah. What kind of excursion? Ah. And when were they with them? On Sunday. You mean my children left the house and will be going to a place I did not know for a number of days and, and you did not tell me? No. I'm sorry. Actually, we tried getting in touch with you. Are you mad? No. By, by the way, are they your children or my children? My own children? Your children. It was part of their activities for the term. So when their form master informed me they would have to travel this weekend, I tried calling you. But I'm sorry, I couldn't reach you. I'm sorry. I knew it. Ah! I knew it. You can never change. You are a leopard. And no amount of soap and wash that can wash the skin of a leopard. That's exactly what you are. You're stupid. Oh, no please, sense. I'm sorry. Oh, please. Please. 
your darling TV series, House on the Rock. This weekend, we will do your graduation. Uh, uh, right on this bed. Uh, 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 your husband is not like mine. He wouldn't understand. Listen, I understand because I'm a woman. True, I married in Christ. My husband and I were Christians before we got married. But, see, the only reason why all this is happening is because your husband is a great man of God. That's just the truth. Mm -hmm. A great man of God? Let us just at least start something, you know. And uh, it's just that I love your personality. That's why. Hmm? Okay. Okay. All right. Um, maybe I'll see you next week. Let's go upstairs. Let me show you my room. Our room. Emmy, no. I can't do that. I shouldn't be doing this. Maybe some other time. Why? Why? Oh. 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 <laughs> you think I want to? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I can't do that. I might not be a religious person or a church person, but I know what is right and what is wrong. And that is not me. I am a gentleman to the core. I am a principled man. I have a good home training. No problem. If you insist, sit down. Let me put on the TV so you watch a program. It's all right. Let's go. Let's go. Don't stop me. 